In this video, I'm going to be showing you what we bought Ashley for Christmas. Uh, we don't have everything right now, uh, so I will be adding more on to the end of this video. So if you see me again, I might be wearing different clothes or I might just add it on like haul style and show it to you on the table. For this initial video, I thought because she ordered because she has so many clothes, I figured it would be easier for me to hold them up than to try to have them laying down on the table. Um, so it's, it's easier with kids' clothes to lay them on the table, but I don't know so much with adult clothes. What we did was we, uh, we bought for the grandchildren like we always do, and we have also bought for Andrew, Ashley, and Christina. However, we did give them a set amount of money that they could spend, but then they had to give uh, the stuff to us. So, Ashley, I know just last night, ordered some stuff on Amazon with her money that we gave her, and it's not in yet. That's why I know I'll be adding more onto this video. Um, so, some of the stuff I'll tell you that we bought, and some of the stuff I'll tell you that I'll tell you what she chose herself out of her money. So, um, the the first thing is I bought this uh, Disney Tsum Tsum. It is a look and find book. I have, I don't even know where I bought this and I have not seen one since, but it is an awesome look and find book. And it has pictures in it just like your typical look and find books. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon, but it's with Tsum Tsum characters, which I think is absolutely adorable. She loves these. Um, one thing I will tell you, we have ordered, I have the Amazon page up here. We have ordered her, she loves the books, uh, The Day the Crowns, um, The Day the Crowns Quit, and then The Day the Crowns Came Home, I think that's what it's called. Um, there is a book called Love from the Crowns. It is actually going to be released on December 24th. We have pre-ordered that for her, so you won't see that in this video, but she will be getting that for Christmas as well. Um, I don't know why it's coming out so close to Christmas. I th I'm thinking, it's, since it says love from the crowns, crowns, I'm wondering if it's not intended to be like a, a Valentine's Day book, but we're giving it to her for Christmas because you'll see we went to... Uh, Barnes and Noble and we bought her Happy Holidays from the Crayons. We bought her the bag from Barnes and Noble and we also bought her these plushies and these were the only plushies that we saw red, blue, orange, and green and uh, so and they have little arms and legs and so they're they're really cute and they can talk to each other or as you're reading the book the kids can pass them around or whatever. So We've got those and the the tote at Barnes and Noble. And then while we were at Barnes and Noble, they just happened that day. I did not plan it at all. They were doing an art project with the children and they were finished. So they had leftover supplies. And um, since Ashley's a teacher, I got these for her. Now they do say happy holidays and we're giving this to her for Christmas. I'm just gonna put all the paperwork in this bag and wrap it up. But she'll be able to use it next Christmas if she wants. It's not just for this year, it's you know for next year too. So this is a little activity that we've got free. And then she, during one of our grocery hauls, she had bought the book we don't eat our classmates and she said her kids love it she teaches second grade she said she reads that book once a week and they love it every single time so they were giving out these stickers we don't eat our classmates so i picked up one of those and then they had this um uh, crayon and i thought she could make copies of that and cut it out and uh, she could have enough for her whole classroom so i got her one of those and then they were also giving out this uh, Pete the Cat's Pizza Toppings, and it's like a whole, um, it's like, there's probably 10 pages in here of Pete the Cat stickers, so I picked those up. Also at Barnes & Noble, I'm not showing you this yet because it didn't come from Barnes & Noble. Also from Barnes & Noble, I love this, I haven't read it all the way through, but when I flipped through it, I thought, this is an awesome book. It's called One Big Heart. And it says, a celebration of being more alike than different. It's written by Lindsay Davis. And 
it just it says our faces make a rainbow lots of colors all around shades of tan and melon skin and even chocolate brown and so that's what it's about it's about how we may look different but we're, we have a lot in common. And it, so I thought that is a perfect book for her classroom. So um, what she'll do is I'm sure she'll remove the dust jacket and leave it at home and then just take the book so that the dust jacket won't get torn. But now the book, the actual book, The Crown's Christmas, it, um, it came from um, Kroger. And we are actually going to give this to her for Thanksgiving. And if you watch the videos, the haul, uh, not the hauls, if you watch the vlog uh, during Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to let her have this at Thanksgiving so she'll have it for her kids at Christmas. And um, I'm going to have her open this book properly and show what all it comes with because it comes with a lot of stuff. So if you watch the that video, then you'll have already seen this book. But... Um, and it's cute. On the back, it has a box that says Christmas stuff, and the crowns are, are uh, getting in the box and holding an ornament, so I'll give that to her for Thanksgiving. So, on to the gifts. Two of these are uh, friends-themed, and it's funny because her friend, uh, one, of, one of her friend, our friend, uh, she just turned 30 this year, and she had a Friends-themed birthday party. And I had already bought these for Ashley because Ashley loves the show Friends. So this is a huge mug. It says Central Park. And of course you can drink your coffee or tea out of it. But I think this is a nice soup bowl. And you know, if you want to carry it and sit on the couch or a cereal bowl, um, ice cream bowl. Yes, please fill that up with dessert. Um, so I thought that was cute. And then um, we found this as well. And this is a cookie jar that says Central Park, and then it says Friends on the back, and then it has a little uh, coffee mug on the top. And, um, you know, you don't have to just put cookies in these. You can put um, Little Debbie's in there. You could put tea in there, tea bags in there, You could, anything, anything. Ashley likes to eat bars. She could dump all of her bars in here. So we got that for her. Um, she out of the, uh, she chose this out of money we gave her. This is Bath and Body Works Rose Water and Ivy. She's crazy about this stuff. Um, and then she picked out this uh, Winterberry Wonder Moisturizing Body Wash. And then I bought her this uh, Sherpa Throw. I actually showed it during a grocery haul. Um, we bought uh, this from Costco. This these are the absolute softest blankets. They're they're just fantastic um this you can buy larger ones that are the actual size of your bed so like if you have a queen size or a king size they had those but this is just this is still a good size this would go over a twin bed um it's 60 by 70 inches uh so i mean it covers quite a bit but this is what i keep on the couch downstairs uh, to put over my legs. Guido loves laying on top of it because it's so cushy and soft. So we got her that. I think that was like less than $20, I think. Um, then, the you all might find this funny in a second. Um, I bought her some bags. She loves bags like this. And uh, Kevin and I have gotten to the point we really love these bags too, to take into the grocery store. This one was from Home Goods. And it says world's best teacher. And it reminded me kind of like a Richard Scary type thing. But what was unique about this one is it came with a little pouch. So if she wants to put hand sanitizer or a chapstick or a couple dollars, whatever in there, then you can throw that in the in there and it matches with the bag. And then I bought this bag at Marshall's. It says it takes a big heart to teach little minds and then i bought the same bag at home goods it's a home goods and marshall's <coughs> excuse me it's the same people it's the same store you know home goods marshall's and tj maxx and i saw this in marshall's and i had forgotten that i had already bought this at home goods if she wanted to give one away to a friend she could she has a lot of teacher friends they were only 5.99 so if she wants to give one of those away she can no, no hard feelings on my part. Um, then, uh, she may or may not use these. I 
think I saw these in Target. No, I didn't. I know where I saw these. Aldi. We bought these in Aldi. Uh, there are two jumbo wall posters. It says teacher approved and tested. This one has nouns and verbs and it includes bonus worksheets. This one has um, the United States of America. It shows all the states and then it shows the layers of the earth and it has um, bonus worksheets. So those were from Aldi and she may or may not use those. I thought they looked really nice. Out of the money that we gave her, she chose this purse. She went to Kohl's and it says it was $50, but if you know Kohl's, they're always having stuff on sale. I know she didn't pay $50 for it. She bought herself some uh, underwear from Victoria's Secret. I'm not gonna hold those up and show them, but she bought uh, some. It was probably one of those like five for 35 deals. Uh, this is a shirt. Believe it or not, this shirt was like $30 for a t-shirt, but she wanted it. Um, it says West Side Barbell, and it actually has that on the front and on the back. I have no idea. I would assume that this is an Instagrammer that she follows, but I'm going to be very honest with you. I, I don't have a clue. I just know she wanted it, and uh, it's hard to choose clothes for her that she'll actually wear. So we, we would rather give her the money and let her spend it herself. So this is one that she requested. We bought it. I did, however, pick this one out, but I'll tell you the story behind this. I feel kind of stupid. I bought this. I've only bought a couple things at that... Um, box lunch place in the mall and i know we went to the grand opening a long long time ago and i think i only bought like two things and people wondered what did you buy this was one of the things i bought but i felt really stupid once i once it set in what i had done um it says dunder mifflin paper company and it was 20 28 dollars 90 cents that was the actual price of it 28 dollars 90 cents what I feel so dumb about is that I bought the exact same shirt in a light blue. If I had the color, I could show you, but I don't. In a light blue, it's, it looks identical to this, and I bought it at Target for like 12 bucks. So that box lunch place is very, 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 very expensive. It is the same shirt, and it was half price at Target. So I just feel I'm going, that's one of those things where I plan to tell her, um, I bought that at that box lunch store so that she'll know, oh, mom didn't get that at Target. Not that it matters, but when you pay that much more for something, it's like you don't want people to think, you know, you got it from someplace you didn't. We found this shirt, um, and I just, I had to get it for her. It's Bob Ross, Ashley loves Bob Ross. It says, uh, no mistakes, just happy accidents. And I think she's gonna love this. I don't know if she'll wear it or not. I think those are the only two things that we actually chose for her without her knowing about it because she is very particular about her clothes. Um, from Target, these two shirts came from Target from the men's department. They are the Goodfellow brand um, they're men's sweatshirts and they were, say, say they were $14.99 each. I think that's exactly how much we paid for them. But one is just a gray sweatshirt and the other is a, um, a navy blue. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but this one is a navy blue one. And they're just really nice thick sweatshirts. And typically I shop more in the men's department at Target than I do the other departments because this I just like the way the stuff fits. Um, she wanted these two shirts she saw maybe on Instagram because Ashley doesn't have a Facebook account. So it would she must have seen it on Instagram. It's called She Show. S-H-E-S-H-O-W and she wanted these two shirts. So this one says, Sanderson, uh, Witch Museum, home of the black flame candle. And of course, if you've ever seen the movie Hocus Pocus, that is what that is from. 
and they were offering that shirt around uh, before Halloween, so that tells you how long ago I ordered these, but she knew it was for Christmas, and you could wear it any time, let's face it. And then this shirt she wanted, so we got it at the same time. It says, I before E, except when your foreign, except when your foreign neighbor Keith received eight counterfeit beige slays from feisty caffeinated weightlifters. Weird. So, some of you will appreciate that shirt. And then she bought this for, um, out of her money. It is from New York and Company. And I don't know how much she paid for any of this stuff because she went to the mall and um, she bought it for herself. It's very long and it's short in the front. So that would tell me that that's meant to be worn with leggings. I'm sure that's exactly how she'll wear it. She also got this sweater from New York and Company. We'll see if it's long too. Yes, it is also long, uh, but it is kind of cupped at the bottom. I don't know if that's how you would describe that or not. And then she uh, bought two pairs of pants, or these. This is from uh, White House Black Market, and this one's from White House Black Market. So she got a pair of skinny jeans and a pair of girlfriend jeans, and one's darker than the other, as you can see. I bought her this. I don't know if she will ever use it or not. If she doesn't, I'm okay with that, but I got it. It is the Too Faced Natural Lust. And I know you can't see it, but it is, I mean, there's a lot of um, colors in there and they don't look so like shocking. They look like very neutral colors that anybody could wear. And so I think that's why she will use that some. I showed this during a vlog uh, at the time that we ordered it. Um, this is the um, uh, Shane Dawson Jeffree Star collab. This was when that came out. Uh, she wanted this. They're calling it a, a um, it's a purse or a makeup bag. I'm thinking they refer to it as a makeup bag, but it actually has like a a chain if you want to wear it as a purse because it's huge, absolutely massive. So that came out of her money uh, that we gave her. And then I picked this up. This is, um, I saw this in Target and this is the 12 Days of Beauty. And yes, technically it's supposed to be given for like an advent calendar type thing, but I'm just gonna give it to her for uh, Christmas because, um, I think she'll appreciate it at Christmas. And it tells you on the back everything you get. Like it has Soap and Glory, Hair Food, uh, Milani, Native, uh, Bella, Pixie Glow, Pantene, uh, Lumine. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that or not. Anyway, it has a lot of different uh, things in there. It has 12 different things in there. And... Um, I'm thinking it was like $20. I'm not sure how much it was. I want to say a big thank you to Leah on Facebook. I posted a picture where Ashley ate, uh, she made a pan of Ghirardelli brownies and she ate around the entire edge. And I said, she guess who in, uh, somebody likes the edges. And she said, you know they make a pan that is just the edges. And no, I did not know this. Now, after Leah told me about this, other people told me. Other people on Instagram told me, but it was after Leah. So, Leah sent me a link. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just came up the steps really quick. Um, Leah sent me a link to just the pan, but this is actually the complete set. Hello, Chapel. Um, this is actually a, a, a set to where you get the pan, but you also get a lid. You also get a spatula that fits in here perfectly. And you get this thing, which what it does is it stops. You can put it in here. And if you only need like um, um, a certain eight, it, it converts an eight by eight. It converts this pan to an eight by eight pan. So if you just want an eight by eight pan, then you put this little plastic gizmo right here 
and it converts it to eight by eight. So I think this is awesome. The thing about it is that you all should know that I think it's hilarious. We just ordered this yesterday. So that's how early I'm filming this video to show you, uh, uh, to get all the Christmas presents because I want to wrap them. Um, but yeah, I posted the picture of the brownie pan yesterday it came today and we've actually had other things on order that we haven't gotten yet so it's just funny that this was the first thing that got here i believe all total it was like 50 dollars but it's because I ordered the one with the lid and stuff. Had I not wanted the whole set, it wouldn't have been as much, but I think it's gonna be really, really handy to have that spatula that fits in there and to also have a lid for this because she's a teacher, she's gonna be taking it to school probably. I mean, I don't know. Uh, she might not want to share her brownies, uh, but if she does, um, and then she could take it to school. And I want you to just look. It's a good thing we don't eat off this table. No, it's a good thing because the sun's shining through the window and somebody's enjoying it. Yeah, I know, I know. With Ashley's Christmas money, I wanna show you some uh, five more things that she chose for herself. She went to the dress barn today and she bought four of the items that you'll see and then the other ones from someplace else I'll tell you in just a minute. So she uh, bought this sweater, which I think is a beautiful color. And it, it says $44.95. She paid, I believe, $31 for this sweater. And then she chose this green one and it's like a hunter green and it's a longer uh, sweater so she could wear it with uh, black dress pants or jeans or, or even leggings if she wanted to. I think it was, I think all these were 31. And then this one was 31 and it's like a burgundy color. I don't know what color it's going to show up on camera, but it has some um, button details across the top across the shoulders and it's like cupped at the bottom and it's a it reminds me of like a basket weave pattern it's really pretty and then the sides the sides have a different pattern here that go around and then this one i believe was 24 it's also from the dress barn this is like a classic ashley blouse this is um has no, it's sleeveless and it is, it is a, uh, a Christmas green is what I would call it. But it was, I think 24 is what she got it for. And she wears shirts like this with like a sweater over the top of them. One of the, the ones that are, you just, they're, um, they're open in the front, uh, just the open sweaters. So that's what she'll wear that with. And then lastly, she bought another Yeti shirt. Uh, this is from Dick Sporting Goods. This, it says it was $25. That's probably exactly how much she paid, $24.99, because usually these are not on sale, but she has a different Yeti shirt and she really likes it, so she wanted another one. So these are the last things that Ashley bought with her Christmas money. Uh, these are masks. These are Peter... Thomas Roth mask. Um, I think she bought all three of these at Ulta. There is a pumpkin enzyme mask, cucumber gel, rose stem cell, Hungarian thermal water, 24 karat gold mask, and Irish Moor mud purifying black mask. So that's pretty cool. And then she bought this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting duo pencil and Mario something skincare. I cannot pronounce that. It is facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So that is Ashley's Christmas.